Hello everybody. We're going to configure some filtering in AD Connect. Azure AD Connect is used to synchronize uh, users and groups and device objects to uh, Azure AD and Office 365. We want to use inbound filtering to filter things from Active Directory to prevent Active Directory objects from making it into the metaverse and ultimately making it into the cloud. So cloud filtered is the attribute you want to set. Uh, if, you, if cloud filtered is true, it won't get synced to the cloud. If cloud filtered is false or null, it will get synced unless it's overwritten somewhere else with a true. Now we've done negative filtering. I'm not going to really cover that. Uh, I've done it many times where I have an extension attribute and set it to null sync, and it takes that object out. I'm interested in positive filtering because I haven't done it before. And this is a little more complicated. Uh, you want to make sure you exclude uh, system objects, etc. You need to override the default rule, which is a new thing. You're going to need two rules. One to create the correct scope of objects to sync, and the other to filter out everything by default. So let's get started here. Okay, so first of all, let's look in our uh, Active Directory. You'll see we have an OU under Security Groups called Sync. We also have one under User Objects. I'm not going to focus on User Objects this time around. So I have some groups, groups that I want to sync, groups that I don't want to sync. And for the groups that I want to sync, I've configured the description to be Sync. Uh, this particular schema of this Active Directory hasn't been... Uh, extended with uh, exchange attributes. We'll see errors while we're editing rules in the rules editor saying you don't have those attributes in the schema and that's because we haven't installed exchange in the environment. So here we can filter out uh, domains and we can also filter out OUs. So I'm going to show you that we are filtering out all but the specific sync OUs. So that covers the first two types of uh, sync filtering that you can do with Azure AD Connect. You can filter by domain and you can filter by OU. Okay, there's I've selected to sync that group that OU under groups and that OU under user objects and we're not going to sync anything else in that domain. So it looks like these objects should sync into the cloud and we have indeed run a full sync after a uh, fresh install of Azure AD Connect and you can see I've got the groups that I wanted and I've also got the groups that I don't want. So now let's set out on editing some rules. This is the rules editor. So I'm going to open up the default group join rule. Now here your option is yes to create a copy of this default rule and disable the original default rule. Okay, so this is my copy and that default rule is disabled now. You want to set a precedence that puts this at a higher priority, which is a lower number. Uh, the default rule numbers generally start at 100. So I'm setting this one to 50. I'm going to give it a description that helps me identify the purpose of this sync rule. Description equals sync. Scoping filter. All of this is really copied over from the original one, but we're going to add description equal sync. So if it's not a critical system object, etc., and description is sync, then it's going to sync. Now here's a couple of transformation rules. Transforms are things that are written to the object if it qualifies the filter and the join rule, etc. Then there may be additional transformations that take place. So there's that rule. It's at the highest precedence. It's got the lowest number and we can see the default rule is disabled. I'm just going to filter on group 
from aaco.com dot local and we're going to add a new rule and this is going to be uh, the rule that uh, excludes or filters out all groups by default and this should be set with a lower precedence or a higher number than the uh, rule we just created okay the connector source is aaco.local and we're uh, matching group to group and the default action is join we don't need any scoping filter we don't need any join rule and we're going to say constant cloud filtered equals true this way any group that wasn't covered by the first rule gets cloud filtered equals true now I'll clear these filters out so we can see all the rules again yeah I forgot to set the precedence so I'm setting it to 99 it'll have a higher precedence than all of the default rules but a lower precedence than the one that should join groups if their description is sync and checking again the default rule is true so now anytime you make a change to sync rules you have to do a full sync so here we're starting the ad sync sync cycle with a policy type of initial okay so we can see no changes from active directory we see something's changing in the cloud don't worry I set this up to be a total snafu so we can uh, uh, explore the <laughs> intricacies of this further uh -oh, I'm seeing four disconnects and nothing really changes in the synchronization there but let's watch the export okay let's see what happens here oh no it looks like it deleted four objects and I go and check oh all my groups are gone where are the groups that I wanted synced what happened we need to find out well let's take a look when we look at this statement here it says that rules should leave the cloud filtered null by default so that later rules can set them to true now that's great except in this case we have a rule <laughs> that says uh, all groups are cloud filtered by default so let's figure out what happened and it's in this little transform bit here so you see here it has this uh, drawn out is critical system object same account name equals msol uh, hold still here while we go back and read that rich coexistence couple of other exchange things if those are true then it's going to set it cloud filtered to true if those aren't true then it's going to leave it at null so our new rule that was supposed to sync objects based on description equals sync really just leaves cloud filtered null and then that other rule comes back around the default filter all groups comes back around and whacks those groups so we're gonna have to figure out how to uh, fix this problem and uh, now I'm doing this in a lab environment and you really do not want to be thrashing like this in AD connect in a sync environment all you need to do is delete a bunch of users to detach them from their mailboxes even if you sneak them back in real quick there's still probably a lot of hurt coming down the line for uh, more than a few people so really really be careful and make sure you understand what you're trying to do and how to go about uh, doing it without upsetting your production environment yeah so here in this article he says in this case where you're doing this positive filtering you have to set cloud filtered equals false you can't set it to null so we've tried to fix it here and we're gonna run an initial sync and let's watch I'm gonna crop out a few uh, frames to move things along and we'll see oh we only got some ugly errors sync generic failure and we didn't get our groups back either no ads here under the synchronization to the or the export to the cloud you can see there's going to be no ads this is a very uh, bitter situation now
Okay, let's see if we can find our way back. On these errors, you can click into them and uh, look at the stack trace, and it says, oh yeah, run a delta sync or a full sync. And I'm not going to hold out much hope for that, but we'll give it a shot. Yeah, any time you get a sync generic failure, you want to go in and look at that stack trace button. Uh, you'll find some very interesting bits there. So, we still wind up with the same problem. We need to do something else. So I'm going to try moving the groups out of the sync scope by moving them out of that sync OU. This will delete them from the metaverse. We're going to run a delta because we're not changing any rules. We're not changing any filtering selections. And we see still no joy. Okay, but that's because we know we deleted the groups entirely uh, from the scope of sync. So now we're going to put them back in the scope of sync. Run another delta because we didn't change the filtering. We just moved objects from one OU to the next. And cross your fingers. Okay, added it back in in the AD connector during the delta import. Uh, we still get those uh, sync generic failure errors and... Darn it, I didn't get my groups back. So we are going to uh, open a can of whoop-ass here. We're going to delete the connector uh, content. <laughs> Don't recommend doing this unless you're uh, engaging Microsoft support or really, really, truly know what you're doing. I'm clearing the runs too just because I don't want to look at all of my past failures. You might not want to do that if you want to be able to look back and comb through the history and see what happened okay so we're doing our full import we're adding a bunch of objects that's the OU's and the groups and all that's getting added uh, doing some synchronization uh, there are no objects in uh, the cloud so we get that one completed no objects error okay we're syncing we're exporting cross your fingers Okay, it looks like we added two objects. Yay, the groups that we wanted to sync are indeed there. So, lesson learned here. Really, really work through this in the lab before you do it in production. And in this particular case, you need to set that uh, cloud filter to false instead of leaving it null if you're going to do a positive filter. Thank you very much.